And good evening, everyone. A coin crisis due to COVID-19. Banks are running short on quarters, dimes, and nickels. And it makes sense with people shopping online, using cards at the checkout to prevent exposure to the virus. News Channel Line's Josh Martin is in East Syracuse, where one business is trying to bottle up frustration over lack of coins. Coins are hard to come by during COVID-19. Some stores aren't exchanging cash for rolls of change because of the shortage. And local businesses are hurting. <laughs> Including bottle centers. We went to see a familiar face, Joanne Casciano, who's struggling to keep the compartments of her cash drawer full. Because of lack of coins from her usual supplier, the bank. At the particular branch I go to, one each quarters, dimes, and nickels, which will last me about four hours. This is all she has right now. There have been some awkward exchanges with customers when the math doesn't add up. It's just something she can't change. No one ever brings coin into the bottle and can. They, they'll say, oh, I got to run to my car. It's just not an option because they're expected for you to give them money. So they come in here with no money and walk out with money and they're all happy. And cans are piling up here in East Syracuse with so many people home. This will probably be my biggest summer I've ever had. Joanne is hopeful for change and that it starts circulating more in the next few weeks. She says if anyone has any to spare, give it to a local business. I bet they'd be happy to take it off their hands. It very well could change their spirits. In East Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Hang in there, sis. In mid-June, the Fed started limiting how many nickels, pennies, dimes, and quarters it distributed to banks as part of its efforts to mitigate the effects of low-coin inventories.